What? Old school track. <laughs> I, I, I can't sit here and talk about it. Let's take a boat ride. Well, that was epic. That was just incredible. That was everything I'd hoped Picard would be. You know when he, those YouTube videos went round when he came out on stage and he said, Jean-Luc Picard is back. That is what I was expecting. Episode 4, Picard. That was incredible. So here's what I really liked. They, they just slowed that right down. That was, that was just perfect. But that was great writing. They just slowed the pace down of the main story and gave us this beautiful episode within the greater narrative. That was fantastic. That was Star Trek. That was TNG. Just everything about that. I actually, I applauded at the end. I stood up. I gave a little clap. Just incredible. Jonathan Frakes. Riker. Stealing every scene again. Just, oh. Just fantastic, sir. Jonathan Frakes, just, just thank you. Patrick Stewart, the vitamin B injections are clearly working with every episode. He's just gathering pace. He's just becoming more Picard. He's actually getting younger. How is he doing that? With every episode, Patrick Stewart is just becoming younger and more vibrant. It's just incredible. It's a beautiful thing to see. There were some beautiful nods to the past within that episode. Without taking the past and smashing you over a head with it and going, remember, 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 because everything else sucks. When everything else is great, you can take the past and you can lovingly weave it into a story and just, ah, oh, just present it pitch perfect. The scene with Jack and Picard in Ten Forward was just a masterpiece. I loved the hair joke. It made me laugh. The whole scene touched me. It just, you really started to feel a bond starting to form between them. Just a great scene. I'm so happy that Whoopi Goldberg just didn't pop out because that would have made it cheesy and taken away from what is a beautiful thing. It's a father connecting with a son that he never knew he had. And they're in a situation where they expect to be dead in a couple of hours. This was lovingly presented, beautifully acted, and just fantastic. The scenes between Seven and Shaw were excellent. Immediately, as soon as Shaw came on the scene, I liked him. The more I see of Shaw, the more I like him. He's cynical. Whatever, man. He's cynical. And I like that because he's not what a starship captain has been before in Star Trek. He's something new. And to all of the people who are just holding on to the past, hoping for basically a recreation of a 90s Star Trek episode, it's never going to happen. Get over it, man. The scene between Seven and Shaw was absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy. We've got weed in the future. This, I'm really happy about. No, you know what makes me even happier? The fact that there is a future. That is something to rejoice about. And the fact that there's ganja there and you can have a wee smoke, even better. The solution. You knew a solution was coming. You knew something had to happen. But the fact it was an old school TNG solution. Oh, 
It tickled me. It made me feel good. A little bit like this boat ride through central Bangkok that we're on right now. I feel great. I'm so happy. Tomorrow's going to be a joy. The day after it is going to be even more joyful because I'm going to still think back to this episode. And you know what? I'm probably going to watch it again. When Will Riker took an asteroid and threw it at the Shrek, quick thinking. Beautiful scene, great resolution, just fantastic. Just everything was so good. By the way, this boat ride is freaking fantastic. Um, Just relocated to Bangkok and I'm watching Trek on a projector in Bangkok and jumping on a boat and telling you guys all about it. Does life get any better than this? Well, I could win Lotto later, but hey, life's good enough as it is right now. Everything about this episode made me smile. Everything about this episode made me happy. I had a little clap at the end. I had some little fanboy whoops, I had some chuckles, I had some laughs, I had some suspense, tingling, oh yes, this was quality TV, this was great sci-fi, this was great Trek, we even got to see Captain Picard sat in his seat again saying engage. The writers of this show have surpassed all expectations I had. I had no expectations for this show. I tuned into the first episode with a fresh YouTube channel just thinking, hey, I've got something to make fun out of here. Now, I'm on episode four. I've loved every episode. I'm delighted. I'm overjoyed. I can't wait for next week. I can't wait for the season to finish so I can sit down and binge watch every episode. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire up the old bong. I'm going to sit there for 10 hours straight. And I'm going to just watch it all, all over again. Oh, this was so good. And I hope you liked this boat ride because... I just had to do something different. I couldn't just sit in a room and talk about this episode. It was far too special. I could break it down even more, but what's the point? (laughs) Come on. Just watch this episode multiple times. Have multiple joyous little oops. And just enjoy. Thank you. To everybody involved in making this episode, thank you to you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to do more of this. I'm tired of sitting in rooms talking about stuff. I want to walk around the streets and let you see something different. After all, I'm really lucky to be here and I want to share my experience with you. Thank you for watching. This is Apocalypse Tours. We out. I got a noisy toilet. My noisy toilet had a floater in it yesterday. I had to record a podcast with a floater in my toilet. Yeah. Kind of nasty. Bit like season one and season two of Picard. It's pretty nasty. Floater in my toilet. Season one, Picard. That was a floater in my toilet. Season two of Picard. That was another floater in my toilet. Season three, no floater. <laughs>